Ratio is a stat that I've added to my basketball output window, but like all stats, it's translatable to other sports. At the end of this video, I'm going to tell you why I think it's such a good stat for basketball, but first I'm going to show you how to script for ratio. Now before you script any stat, it's important that you first have to code for that stat. Now for this stat, you're going to need a possession row, such as Purdue Offense and Purdue Defense. As well as in each one of those instances, you're going to need the label information for the shots. So made three, made two, missed two, and missed three. You're going to need all those labels in these possession rows. So I've already done one. I'm going to do the other team. So I've already put the button color, which is completely irrelevant. It's just identifying that button ID of Virginia. And then defense, which is identifying the name of this row down here, Purdue defense, by getting the button ID from this word Purdue, which is home team, and then adding the word defense to the end of it. So first we're going to have to do is get our two-point shot. So I'm just going to call it two equals count label. So I'm just going to put count label made two or label missed two. It's important to have that word label in there before the quotation marks because then it's going to identify every miss two in an instance and that includes if you have two missed shots in one instance and I'm just going to close that bracket and go where row equals defense because we're doing it for the other team now we're going to get the three point shots so just going to copy and pasting it and just going to change a couple words and a couple of numbers so now we've got all our identified shots and now basically we can make the ratio straight away so I'm just going to click create a row called ratio and it's going to equal two, oh, need a T, two divided by two plus, I'm going to add the ratio mark just so you can identify it as a ratio plus round. Now the reason we're putting round for this second half of the ratio is because the first number is always going to equal 1 because you're dividing a number onto itself. And obviously, if you divide any number onto itself, it's always going to equal 1. So you don't actually have to round it down. Um, so that's going to be 1. And then we're going to round down the second number because it could be a decimal. Round, two brackets. We're going to get 3 divided by 2, comma 1. And that's going to be our equation. So what we've done here is we've identified that first number. And then we've got a second number of which we're comparing it to. So in this case, for this particular video, we're going to see how many three-point shots a team takes relative to how many two-point shots they make. So we've got that two as our first number, which is going to always equal one. And then we've got threes as our second number. So how many threes do we take relative to one two-point shot? Now we can just go show ratio and show... I can't be bothered writing this next line out, so I'm just going to steal it from this top one. This is just for our movie, what it's going to uh, show when we um, press it down. And defense. So that's the entire stat already done. So I'm going to tell you now why I think it's such a good stat to have. Oh, what have I got wrong? Oh, I forgot my... There we go. So I'm going to tell you now why I think ratio is such a good stat to have. So three reasons. First, it tells you how dependent... A team is on the three-point shot. So here, for example, Purdue is not as reliant as Virginia. Purdue only takes one three-point shot per two-point shot. Virginia takes one and a half three-point shots per one two-point shot. So that's quite a basic conclusion, but it's a conclusion nonetheless. The second thing this tells you is how reliant a team is on specific players. So Purdue has a really good inside presence. They've got two really good bigs and harms and uh, Williams. So that kind of shows you how they do shoot two-point shots as well as three-point shots because they've got players who are strong in both skills. Virginia, however, does not have a strong inside presence. They've got a lot of three-point shooters, so they rely heavily on the three. The third thing it tells you is how ahead a team is in a particular game. If, Purdue, if Virginia is behind, they're going to shoot more three-point shots, and they were very much behind in this game. Because they were behind... They're not going to kind of focus on the two-point shot or slow down the game. They're going to shoot a lot of three-point shots and play very quickly. And that is shown in this stat, is they're shooting more three-point shots than two-point shots. Now, as I said, you could translate this, translate this to any sport. I learned this stat initially when 
I was an intern in rugby and then like in that sport was being used as like a ruck to kick ratio or a ruck to pass ratio so it's very helpful and very good so if you have any questions about this stat my email is in the description or if you want to purchase this little tutorial window here there's a link also in the description thank you very much and hope you learned something